No, these two hundred. Nice, nice. So, wet on wet technique. So the first thing we're going to do is get the canvas wet. What's going on, everybody? My name's Mike Figs, and you're watching Chrissy Mayer's Wet Spot! <laughs> Live studio audience here at Compound. We got a hell of a show for you tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get it started. She has a new single, Porn Star, available on purchase right now on iTunes. Give it up for adult film star Dillian Harper! Yeah. All right, you may have seen this guy on Conan, Fallon, and the Comedy Central Roast Battles. Give it up for this handsome bastard, comedian Matthew Broussard. Yeah. And you've seen him on Optimum's Unmovers, I Can't Read, and Fox Laughs, comedian Casey Aurora. Oh, shit. Hide your wives, hide your bagels. We got a bad motherfucker here. <laughs> Give it up. You may have seen him for his viral video. He's the king of carbs. Modern day Martin Luther King Jr. Long Island's one and only, the bagel boss, Chris Morgan's in the house. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I forgot. The host of the show, not the co-host, the main host. This is her show, right? I'm the fucking guy on the couch. <laughs> the love of my life. Compound Media's baddest bitch in the game. Give it up for Chrissy Mayer! Woo! Woo! Hello, hello! You're in the wet spot. Welcome to the premiere episode. Woo! Wow. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming out. This is exciting. We have a full show. We've got a lot of show here. Uh, my boobs are out. <laughs> yeah, baby. You know. <laughs> and yeah, this is the boob section. Um, I guess we'll start with our special guest. Here's the thing. is like Before we got this special guest on, we were going to talk about this issue because this is a sex, love, dating, relationship advice show. And it was so pertinent and it was so timely. And then we were able to get Chris Morgan on. So we're like, this is amazing. This is exciting. Um, so I want to open it up. If you guys aren't sure, if, if at this point you haven't heard of Chris Morgan, he had, he had a big week last week. Uh, he, had a, he had a viral video come out. He was a little emotional in a bagel store. I don't know if we want to play maybe a snippet of that. Just in case there's anyone who's been living under a rock for the last week. That's okay. <laughs> He's laughing at his own Women in general have said it on dating sites. You think I'm making that shit up? Yeah. Everywhere I go, I get the same fucking smirk <laughs> with the biting lip. <laughs> Shut your mouth. You're not God or my father. Yeah. Oh my God. yeah. <laughs> Dude, you want to step outside? You want to step outside? Huh? I'm not standing, pal. I'm not. I'm not. You shut up, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. What was that? Jesus. How are you feeling, Chris? Bravo for the big bully. Yeah, yeah, that was so fucking unnecessary. And I was like, you're just yelling. Big deal, you know? It's like you're not getting physical. Anyway, I don't know. I thought this was an interesting issue because some women... Do you have a height preference? And I and I feel like I don't know. That's probably frustrating because I know I have girlfriends that are very tall that have a equally hard time finding guys. So I don't know. I just want to open up the the discussion of like when I know that Matthew and Casey have girlfriends. I don't know if you have a boyfriend, Dylan. <laughs> so single, so ready to mingle. But I guess I'll start with Chris. Like, what do you, like, if you could describe your idea, like, what do you want in a woman? Like, do you, at what point would someone be, like, too tall for you? Uh, you know, maybe a little taller or shorter either way. I may, I mean, uh, I may have found someone that's early yet. I just met her the other day. But tan, very tan with black hair. Very tan. Before so, or after the video? Right. <laughs> which, which, oh, uh, after, after. Okay. Wow, yeah, so it's after. already paying off. 
Like, yeah. I'm so excited. Can I just say that when I, when you announced that he was on the show, I thought for sure it was going to be Aaron Berg kneeling <laughs> on a pair of shoes. Everybody did. Yeah. I was hey, like, it's actually him. Who is that? It's a good comic. He's another oh, comic yeah. on the network. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, Looks just like you, actually. Yeah. actually yeah. You're yeah. much yeah. better looking. Don't worry. Um, Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, How much did so they pay you to say that? Um, but, <laughs> well, it's coming. Uh, <laughs> Goodbye. A lot of bagels. <laughs> a lot of bagels. Chris, do you have a number? Do you have a height number that you go, I will not date somebody like over the Like five, six, seven is the max. Yeah. I've dated them that high. And after that's a little, like, you know, out of my range. So. I feel you. Like, it's my I'm, lower limit. Your lower limit. Yeah, I think so. The same right? with me. Yeah. You know, I'm not a size queen. I've dated guys that are, I'm 5'2", so I've dated guys, like, around my height. And, like, all of them broke up with me. Um, so Why? that's fine. I don't know. One guy broke up with me uh, on 9-11. <laughs> Oh my God! I think I mentioned this like the last episode. Uh, really? Not the 9/11, just a 9/11. Anyway, uh, just the, an the point is, is like, yeah. Um, so I've had boyfriends that are shorter. I've dated guys that are taller. Like, I don't know. It's is it a thing? Like, like Dylan, do you like guys that are taller or shorter? Do you not care? Uh, there's like pros and cons about both. Like honestly, like I feel more dominant when I'm with a shorter guy. I guess yeah. like more controlling. Like I mean, he's my little baby. Take it is a god. Take advantage. Say no more. There's a god. Uh, I had a dream right today. Here, so. Tell him, Martin Luther. Is she tan enough for you, Chris? Is she tan enough for you? <laughs> it is nice. I've been with, when I've been with shorter guys. Like I totally get it because like the nurturing, dominant side of you takes over. And you're just like, oh. But I believe once the personality dominates, then it's like this shit doesn't matter as much. Because that's your focus now. What do you mean a personality? Well, like dominates? for example, all right, like Tom Cruise, like he's like, what, 5'5? Five, five, and I'm sure there are women that are five, like almost six feet that want him. But because he's Tom Cruise, you know what I'm saying? But but still, I mean, he's a good looking guy and he's got, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah, Dustin Hoffman, he's like, what, 5'3? Friend of the yeah. show? Like yeah. Right. yeah. Prince yeah. is under 5'3. Who? Prince is Prince five two and a half. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was sorry. So then, but once the money comes in, they don't give a shit about that. Yeah. Mm. Do you, Chris? Have you had? It sounds like you've had like women like mistreat you. Oh, you think yes, I feel definitely for you. yes. Yeah, I know, I know. It's all right. I mean, it's they come, they go, they come, they go. You know, but friends are forever. It should be more coming than going, right? Oh, right, I, I have a feeling it might be now. <laughs> hmm, but, interesting. Uh, I don't know. It's like for me, like I don't know, because like the guy I'm dating right now is tall, and I feel when I'm with him, like I feel, I like feeling protected, protected. Yes. Uh, but it's like yeah, it sucks. It's a real thing. Like preferences are a real thing. Like <laughs> Matthew and Casey, do you guys? What are your preferences? Do you feel like you like a certain thing in a woman? I mean, yeah. If you want to go. <laughs> I, I was like not good at sports. I was like very uncoordinated, so I wanted a tall girlfriend so that my kids could be okay at sports. Like the between oh. the two, so I like tall women. Cool. So Look you're at looking at from a reproduction standpoint. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. For the you know furtherment of the species. To Bruce create Lee. the <laughs> ultimate <laughs> race. Look, yeah. Bruce Lee was very agile, and he was what five four. He was very right. small. Yeah. I like yeah. But yeah. What? I like swimming, which. Do you like a tall height, bitch? Yeah. How tall is your girlfriend now? Five eleven. Okay, and how yeah. tall are you? Uh, six two. Okay, so you're right there. We're pretty close. You're it's right it's at her. Re in heels. I can still I still have like a like you, half an inch. When you wear heels, you're. <laughs> when I wear heels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cool. May I borrow them, please? <laughs> <laughs> can you see what I mean? I mean, I don't care? I don't care if a woman likes me. It doesn't really matter, you know. I guess that's it. It's fine. I know who gives a shit. Can I change my answer to yeah. that? That was a way better <laughs> answer than my but it's like, I don't, race spiel. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's fine. It's okay. Like, don't you, didn't you have the personality to meet women? Or like, what was the issue? Hey, let so, me ask the question. I'm sorry. I just didn't, I'm curious, you know? Chris, did you have the personality? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You gotta ask a question like that. No, you should know no. me by now. I would never. I did hear on a <laughs> no, show, I, I, I think didn't. you I didn't. were on a show earlier today that you said that you prefer women with bigger boobs. That's right. Just as the same way they prefer high. Now we got our preferences now. Some men really oh, yes. do like a smaller boob. So it depends on the woman and the day, really. Like, the, like you know, like you'll be in the mood for Chinese food binge for three days. Then you want Taco Bell. So every now and then you change, and then you go back. You, you can just say constant. Mexican, Chris. It's fine. Yeah, Taco Bell. Yeah. Oh, come on. Just you say Mexican, food. bro. You also, your diet is terrible. You, you always <laughs> have like want the same thing as what yeah. I have. Yeah. Yeah. A salad. Yeah. You know, All right. you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Freedom of speech. But yes, <laughs> overall, I, I, I would prefer that, yeah. And I've had most luck with that. 
How long is your longest relationship? I'm sorry, five am I not years. allowed to ask questions? It's five, years. Five, years. Yeah, five, years. five years? So how did that end? Long story, it was with my ex-wife, actually. Right. Five years, just a lot of different things. Chemistry went down, and she was never home. She was going... Did you uh, cheat? Mm-hmm. Did no, no. Did never, she no. cheat? No. no. Okay. No. She oh. was always she was at work, and then right. she went to nursing school at night. Yeah. And then she was almost always busy on the weekend working and doing homework. Right. So we were spending less time together, and the intercourse went down, and we didn't have a similar interest, and it just broke down. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So, but, Did you ever yeah. do any, like, nursing foreplay, like, like <laughs> the, the, the <laughs> nurse and the AIDS patient or anything like that? Like, oh. Yes, I do have that Florence <laughs> right? Nightingale effect, <laughs> you know? No, but, yeah, of course, of course. But. Dylan, if you could describe, like, what are your physical preferences? If you could, if you could like, describe your ideal dude. Um, uh, good smile. Like, I like, like, green... Hazel eyes, um, like you really? a little bit of hair, so wait, what'd I could wait, pull on it. Sorry. What, what, what did you say? <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, what is it? Look at these. Teeth, eyes, hair. Yeah. Um, yeah, you gotta have that freaking six pack, man, right? Like, you need to have a six pack. <laughs> Medium cocks, okay? <laughs> right? I gotta go to the cock part now, okay? Like, uh, I think, dude, as long as you know how to, like, work it, you should be good. I don't, yeah. I don't think, like, what did I tell you matters before? so much. Yeah. <laughs> I feel you. As long as you're very enthusiastic at head, like, I will overlook almost anything. <laughs> Is that weird? Is that crazy? I don't know. No. And also, too, getting back to, like, this... I don't know, size and preferences. A lot of guys think, oh, you need to have like a huge dick. You really don't because if it's too big, that is a hazard. Ooh, that is like a... Doesn't it hurt too? Yeah. I heard it hurts, You right? want... I <laughs> need a penis. Like it has to be just big enough so that if you like drop down on it full weight, like jump off the bed, you have to know <laughs> that if you high jump onto that dick with your full force, you will not have to go to the emergency room. What are you, Am Neville Knievel? <laughs> like you have to know... Oh, on the top turnbuckle. <laughs> Give it a five star <laughs> press on that <laughs> cock. Come on, back me up on this. It's been nice to know I am not going to hurt myself on this man. Oh, yeah, especially if you're working with the man for a few hours. I mean, yeah, yeah it's not just in and out. So, yeah. Gentlemen, you know. start your engines. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I need to listen to you guys. Chrissy, I got a question yeah. for Chris. Yes. After that video, did people yep. message you saying, hey, man, like women, maybe men, but particularly women, did they message you saying, dude, you were pretty fucking brave? to stand up to that guy. You didn't I'll, give a fuck. You were like, you were bumping chests with that motherfucker. I'll put it to you this way. 24 hours after it happened, at seven in the morning, till 10 at night, for the next three days in a row, I was getting phone calls after phone call. I, when I was on the phone, my phone was ringing a sec, and I was, my, my phone was blowing up with texts. Yeah. Non-stop for three days. After like four days, it's finally started slowing well, down. Well, these are random people or these are friends and family? I'm, I'm like, Everywhere from Long Island to Australia. How'd they get your number? Australia. Uh, they <laughs> either found it from, a, from a, a comment on YouTube or they must have found it. I have a, I have a cleaning company where they, I, I just, I don't have, on Facebook, where <laughs> I don't. <laughs> no, that's, that's my own personal oh, okay. thing. That's, I just you know, trying yeah. to get you but business. All I have is a picture of my flyer on it and gotcha. nothing else. So that's probably where they got nice, it Nice, bro. But now I paid the price because... Did you was, know that guy? You didn't know that guy? No, none of them. Yeah. But it got... It, the the calls got so bad, I had to get a different phone. I was yeah, that sure. I can only imagine. They were not... I'm, the, I One particular guy was private. He just he kept nonstop know. over and over. Like, if what he showed he his number, he would have yeah. got, got arrested. What That's did he want? Was. So, what did he want? What did these people want from you? A lot of them just mess around with you. They prank call. I mean, we we when I when I handed my phone over to my manager when I got a new one, they would like monitor and check. I mean, three quarters of these people they just try to pull a hoax on you. Mm -hmm. Like they say they're a big wig from like a company, and then it turns out like they'll look up like the number and they're not. Like compound media or something. Not, <laughs> 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 what, what, what did you say? I, I said that. like compound media or something. Which is yeah, where we are. Yeah, but right. I mean, it's, yeah. <laughs> 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 Why, what, what was the ratio of, of all you received? What was the ratio of like positive to negative? You mean like business, real business to? Uh, oh no, I mean I mean just like general all the feedback. Has it been uh, people oh, yeah. people like thrilled for you? Think you're a hero? People? Who I would say hate two percent was negative, and that's a combination of everything on my phone and talk shows I've been with. Two percent negative? That's pretty. That's about it. That's like, it. Like phone, yeah. <laughs> are you that's reading crazy. comments? Like, are you wow. read internet yeah. comments? Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you do. <laughs> you do read all the I'll comments. I will check your shit? other messages. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Is there a voicemail you haven't looked at yet? <laughs> there was, I think it was the second night. I was 
park by Dunkin' Donuts. It was about 11 o'clock at night, and somebody right. from Illinois called me, and I had like a half hour gone. He was a really nice kid. He was a 21 year old kid from Chicago, yeah. and just going on and on about how I changed his life. And I was like, I was almost wow. in tears. I was like, good for you. How did you glad. change his life? <laughs> He lives by the, I think he was like 5'2", he was nerdy or something looking. And right. He goes, I'm going to stand by what you said. I'm never taking crap again. I says, good for you, bro. So yeah. good for you, He's bro. been inspiring people. I had yeah. a Twitter fan who's like, I'm really inspired by this guy. Yeah. He was like, I'm five. He's like, yeah, I, he like, he's like, I you. guys I know who Stone Cold Steve intended. Austin was? I, did, is, I got yeah. to that point. Yeah, I just didn't give dead. a fuck. Fuck yeah. Anymore. Yeah. You know, and that was over. It's interesting because you know? I've noticed that, like, Chris, you've been like, divisive. <laughs> yeah. Like, women, I feel like, get it. Like, you hear that, you go, I feel for this guy. But men, I feel like, either, like, love you, inspired by you, or, like, or hate, hate you. And, I, and I can't understand why. Wait, women are on, the si on his side? I've noticed men either love him or hate him, and women are like, oh, I get All it. I get him. he's upset, right. yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's, I can't believe people are okay with this. You just well, yelled at people And then, the, people like, the score. last two or three nights, I went to a bar, and it, I, when I tell you, it took me two or three hours from when I walked in. To, there were people driving by me that recognized me. But it took me two hours to get from the entrance to the bar, there was cameras and oh my god, that's, I mean, I, there was people like, like flies on, on honey. Uh, in Staten Island? Unbelievable. I can't wait in Staten Island? Long, no, Long Island. Long Island. Long Island. <laughs> I mean, one after the young, I mean, I must have taken over three, Think about it, guys, it's making no sense. Yeah. In yeah, Long yeah. Island, he walks into this <laughs> fucking Long Island and they, they and loved you. I'm yeah, just makes, laughing like yeah. I was always ignored and now I'm like, yeah, okay. It's a yeah. fucking bagel guy. Yeah, I mean, I, I walked into a Long Island bar, I saw a Confederate flag. What are we really holding the bar to here, you know? Casey, you're from Long Island, right? No, I'm from Queens. This is a very sad difference, but, you know. you live in Long Island? No, no, no. I do used to do some hmm. mics there, but oh, yeah. all right, never mind then. Right, I'm from Rockville Center. Shout out. <laughs> so, w women, women tend to sympathize more. You think? Well, from what I've seen, yeah, on Twitter and like the comments, I saw one um, lady on Twitter was like, "Why are you giving him a platform?" I'm like, "He's just coming on a show. Relax, you know." Yeah. But most women are like, "Oh, I get it. He's pissed." Of course. You know? Yeah, but they're the culprit. Yeah, but then oh, you it's have. Our fault? Yeah, it's your fault. I've dated three short guys. I've done my part. That's. I mean, listen. Charity I already work. Right. You need to keep. You need to keep. You need to keep. You need to keep. You need to keep doing your part. Right. Out of the seven thousand oh guys God. I fucked, I, well, I didn't know we were in the I presence mean, of greatness. You know what's worse? <laughs> what? This is the demographic we're well, not talking about. A tall guy with a weirdly skinny penis. I think that's at the bottom because that's a real switcheroo. See, what it basically comes down to is, beauty is in the eye of the ball. Totally, Ooh. and I want to behold at least six inches. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, no, it's women's fault, though. They choose to not date, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't have this problem, but, like, you know, you do. Because this is your, gay. but, you know, it's women's fault, though, uh, right? Uh, not women are so no, much more forgetting <laughs> physical traits than men. I mean, both sides are, are pretty cruel, but yeah, I feel no. like between the two. I right. Think you can, I think men can make up for, for something like that a little better than women can. A hundred percent. I think that's why Prince was such a good musician, because he was oh, yeah. under 5'3". Right. Oh, he was? Yeah, if he was six foot, he wouldn't have made good music. I thought he was like 5'6". Five, no. Five, seven. Oh, same height as uh, Gandhi, I believe. Oh, yeah. oh really? <laughs> <Five two and laughs> oh, wow. That's so weird you know yeah. that. Hey, Chris. Hey, numbers. Chris. <laughs> you're almost Gandhi, bro. Right? You got to add that to your think? fucking list. I, I love his quote. Forgiving? One, Oh, no, I definitely think that, yeah, women have, you know, the nurturing side of us and stuff, um, for sure, compared to the guy mentality of it, so. Yeah, because when we masturbate, I don't necessarily, like, I've only very recently gotten in porn, and just for researching <laughs> guests, but, like, when I'm... <laughs> yeah, me too. That's, when my girlfriend work, catches me, yeah. that's what I say. Big fan of your work. <laughs> when I, I masturbate, I can just, like, think about something in my head. Like, I'll just, like, I don't know, think about an old fireman calendar, or I'll just think about old compliments. Like, I don't need to see porn. Chrissy's like, from the 1920s. <laughs> right. I think of an old Coca-Cola commercial I'm back in the day on Christmas, 95. Like, I know a girl who know? masturbated to her own potential. That was oh my God, she's really? thinking about her own potential. What did that got look her there. like? I don't know. This is, she just told me this after the fact. There was wow. no videos. <laughs> That's no, like, no videos. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what was her trip. own potential? Do you know what her I don't know. That's all she told me, though. I was like, women are, that's, I'm very jealous of that. To I need, I need JPEGs. To a washer dryer. Yeah. yeah. It'd be like washer Wave dryer, files. a small garden, a dog, <laughs> <laughs> his house broken. 
I would Jeez. think about old compliments like, oh, Chrissy, you're such a good assistant. <laughs> this spreadsheet is so good. All the information is so easy to find. You're so much You're so much better than my oh, last no, assistant. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Right. Oh, my God. It feels so good. Right. Oh, my God. We got a few phone calls now. She's got 17 more subscribers. You such a good cake, Chrissy. This is a good pot. You make your own crust. In the world. Chris, Chris just got a little taller after that, after seeing that. Dylan, what do you masturbate to? Myself. Your own <laughs> potential? <laughs> no, no I, I, I mean, yeah, I'll be watching like Netflix or something and I see a good looking guy. Like, I mean, just got to take a second. And, Netflix, like comedy you know. specials or? Uh... <laughs> I was just watching Gabriel Iglesias and I got all turned on. guy that can make that you laugh special during special the sex is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. This is interesting, guys. I'm going to take a question from the email. We've got a lot of emailed questions, and we're all experts. So here's a question. This is anonymous. I've left out the names. <clears throat> here's a question. I cannot spank or slap or even watch it in porn. However, if a girl likes it and asks for it, and if she loves it, I would get in on that. What is the attraction of being hit during sex? Is it the unexpected pain, or is it I'll the dominance? I'll tell you. The sound of, <laughs> it's like, it sounds like slapping cold cuts. It's sexy. It does sound like slapping cold cuts. <laughs> boar's head. I like how boar's he took the lead on this. I only fuck with boar's head. He takes it. <laughs> We're all experts in our own way. Sounds better than that. I ain't gonna lie. You know this what I mean? totally makes sense. Straight up, man. Masturbate to potential because this guy just ramrodded the whole situation. <laughs> <laughs> Probably you knows think, a little pal? more. Yeah. All right. As a person who likes some gentle slapping, for me, it's it's not the pain. It's like it's like. I think it is kind of the dominance. It's kind of like, whoa, like, you could, more the you could right? kill me, you know, but you won't. Not too but hard, not too soft. <laughs> what do you think it is? Like, let's get into the psychology of it. <laughs> well, well, let's not. Just was, <laughs> so the, I mean, from what I've experienced, I definitely feel like most girls are into the whole dominance thing and, like, the guy having more of the, or the girl, whoever, um, having more of the power and stuff and kind of, you know, taking, not knowing what to expect. Um, but, yeah, I definitely think that, like, it leaves a lot of questions up in the air when you're, like, performing it or doing it. So, yeah. Um, Definitely. Like, like, have you ever had to, like, have you ever hurt somebody, like, during a scene or, like... I've actually, like, during the more, like, rough scenes and stuff, like, are you, like we'll be right in the middle of filming, like, I'll be like, did I just hurt you? Are you okay? Like, and yeah. they're like, you can't act like you just broke character. Like, get back into your dumb. But I, I thought, like, I hurt him, sorry. Like, stuff like that. Like, yeah, I guess I'm more cautious about, now there's other bitches that, like, they don't give a fuck. Like, they're gonna yeah. hurt, they don't care if they hurt you or anything. Like, they're there to play that part. So. Until the camera stops. Partner. Yes. Yeah. Until they, and then they're, like, a complete, like, sub compared to a dom, so complete opposite. Like, yeah, like if I had sweet, to squish nice, a ball uh, with a heel, like I... Right, yeah. right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'd be like, you might need that later, buddy. So you got two of them. <laughs> <laughs> got two. One for squishing, one for babies. You said, you, you said yourself you were more of a, a dom? Personally, um, no, actually, more of a submissive. Like m more of my career in the beginning, definitely more submissive. And then as I did more of it, got more, you know, used to it, comfortable, and started doing more of the dom, a little bit of dom. But I have the submissive look. A lot of people aren't gonna hire me for that. I don't know, bad bitch. I feel like because I got the innocent look to me. So yeah, because you look really young. Like this is not like like you're not a category I would search. Right. Oh, <laughs> you're not really? old enough for yeah. me. What category do you okay. search? No, I'm just saying, like I. That's when you told us that she was gonna be on. I was like, I've never seen her before. And not to say that you know, but then I looked up your profile and I was like, yeah, oh, you researched. That's, yeah, and I was like, that's great. She's done a lot of stuff, right? But then none of it's what I'm interested in, right? Like an older woman is more my style. Oh, you're into milf. Porn. Yeah, but like I'm. I'm not trying. There's also a Who's paranoia. your favorite? I don't really give names? them names. Just a one or two names. <laughs> I don't give them. I'll get you in trouble. Yeah, I don't try to get them to humanize them. What am I doing here, right? You know, it's... <coughs> Ava Divine. Yeah, all right. Hey, 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 hey. Lori Love someone? Yeah, Love? we'll take it. I okay. don't know them. Right. But, right. but it's... <laughs> yeah, because, like, you know, if they look too young, I'm always scared that, you know, like, they're going to be like, oh, that girl was actually 14. You're done. And then they come into my house and... 
I'm totally. going to jail. Your life's over. Yeah. <laughs> Your life's I dated over. a guy in college, and like, and like, I'm not gonna say when I graduated. I don't need anybody figuring out my age. But uh, he I, he was a townie. I went to Fairfield U, so he like was a townie of Fairfield, Connecticut. And he this is why we broke up. He worked at the American Museum of Natural History, and I was like, ooh, he's a sculptor. Like I actually met him because he drew a picture of me on the Metro North and gave it to me, and I was like, this is so romantic. Mm, but then cute. like a couple <laughs> weeks later. He, he got arrested. He said, like, his computer was taken because he had underage porn. Like, his whole computer was taken. Yeah, that's what and they this do. Was some years ago. That's I was right. like, so how bad? How underage? Like, it could be 17, it could be 8. Yeah. So then I anyway, looked up and I saw out. your age, and I was like, all right, well, fine. <laughs> he told you all? He, he, he came? Yeah, yeah he said. You. How long have you all been dating? Like a month or two. He was drawing girls at the playground. Ooh. Yeah. It's a lot for a month in. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he wanted to get, his name was Victor. Oh, well, you know what? <laughs> it's neither here nor there. Chris, what's in your search history? As far as what? Like, if you're going to look up a porn, oh. Oh, uh, usually like two girls and one guy. That's my thing. No cups? Ooh, Just I thought I was going to ask about to say, <laughs> you're a fucking I've rebel. I've never seen it. I've never seen two girls, one cup. Neither I've never I. finished it. I think I'm. <laughs> <laughs> it gets kind of dull in the middle. No, it does not. <laughs> oh, they're shitting again. Ugh. Next. Where's the plot? Where's the development? <laughs> Flat characters. So, Chris, you like girl on girl, one guy. What's that again? I'm sorry. You like watching like girl on girl stuff. Yeah, I actually like. You want me to get graphic? Does yes, please. Yeah, graphic. When a girl puts like a strap on and like fucks another girl from behind, that is hot. Okay, That's this hot. is good. So, Ooh, so how do you have you ever had to wear a strap but... on in a scene? Yes. <laughs> how do you determine like how hard to go? Because again, I don't want to knock out somebody's yeah. cervical wall. Well, <laughs> I don't want to send them to the hospital. Um, yeah, you just take it slow. I mean, take it slow, and yeah, now I guess I I felt like like yeah, now I can understand how it is to be a guy a little bit, like with the whole like making sure you put it in right and like, you don't hurt the person, you know, like, ah! you know? <laughs> like <laughs> so, um, and I think especially when you're doing that stuff with vaginal stuff and then like with the ass, like I mean you gotta treat it completely different when you're doing the ass versus the pussy. So yeah, how well, is the ass different? It's tighter. Like, oh, lot, I right. mean, can't maneuver so much as you can. I feel like with the pussy, like you, you gotta bang the guys in the ass. <laughs> Girls. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I thought that was like literally a no one is enjoying that. Yeah. When you're <laughs> when you're a woman's strap on fucking a girl in the ass, it's like really? there's not much that I guess it's not much enjoyment between the two. What if the girl really likes stuff in her butt? That's I true. don't. I'm sorry, I'm not progressive. Right. <laughs> I'm a caveman. <laughs> a tall, wordless caveman. <laughs> Interesting, but Chris likes. Chris likes a strap on, a little strappy on y action. Well, like five girls like sucking a guy's dick. Five, five women? girls. Yeah. Logistically, yes, how do they even so all right. fit? It's <laughs> nice to take a break, you know. Have you not Let heard of swallow.com? What's that? Swallow.com. Have you ever oh, checked? Yeah, no, check it out, bro. Yeah, check one of our sponsors. <laughs> that one's cool. Check up Swallow. Yeah. Three chicks, lines, four boobs. chicks, seven chicks. Really? Yeah, dude. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'll invite you over like my house. Three on the side checking their cell phone? You can't fit seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fine, we'll bro. hang out later. I don't, don't know. If I've done threesomes, and like, if I, I don't know, I and I've and I've been like the girl not in the relationship, but if I were the girl in the relationship doing like a at least a three-way or at least more than one other girl, like, I would start to feel, like, maybe a little jealous or I'd be, like, watching the technique and be like, girl, you better not be better than me at this, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever experienced that? Is it just me? Am I alone? No, I mean, like, when I get hired to, like, go shoot and stuff, like, yeah, I mean, especially in the beginning, you know, when I didn't know what the fuck I was doing and stuff, like, and then there comes this pro, and she just comes in, knocks it out like that, and I'm like, fuck, man, like, what's she doing? I'm not doing, like, like, it's a whole lot, like, but, you know, I'm happy for those moments because then they teach you, they teach you what they're, you know, and you learn from, and then you become better, and I think that's honestly why I became better at certain things Yeah. With sex. So, wow, so this mommy daughter daughter porn is actually legit. Yeah, it is. Wow. is it you should do a master class <laughs> yeah, yeah. on all of that. A master so. bait class. And why is that? Where they, all the titles are now like step. Hell, uh, I hate that dude. Yeah, why is that? They're all like about? stepmother and and son and mother and son. Why are all the porn titles now that? 
Well, it caters to a certain fetish. I mean, the just like certain, fetish, yeah, kind of taboo. Thing. It's you know, family thing. People get off on. I have a theory. Kind of fucked up. But. I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was to keep people of color out of the business. What? Yeah, it's just like you're since right, they're right, there is no black white you're mom. You're looking for that, right? If that's your point of view, you're looking for like I don't know. No, but all the stream is now like it's just a mother and a son, and they're all everyone's white. And I'm like, do you think they do that now? Is to like you know, if like a black guy wants to get, and he's like, ah, I'm sorry. Gotta be whites only. Because so many people curious. adopt. So many people adopt. Like if adopted kid, like oh, it's a mom and an Asian boy, or like a black. I never boy. see adopted son. Adopted <laughs> racial <laughs> son. Adopted I, I like that you watch a father fucking his stepdaughter and be like. This isn't very woke. I don't I like this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, after I'm done, my mind is clear. I start to think about these things. You Reality know? King presents Adopted <laughs> yeah. Black Raw. I don't even know. I'm just mashing. I'm mashing names. This is but you're right. a really, really good question. Okay. Um, I'm old school and meeting women is tough for me at 38. I refuse to try dating sites and social media is a minefield. Am I destined for last call at the bar types? Which I take offense to because I've been the last call at the bar girl. From Maybe I still am. Um, <laughs> let's see. Dylan, what do you think of this? Um, I, I'm, you know, I'm wondering the same damn thing. So, I mean, I'm not 38. But You're, frustrated. <laughs> You're frustrated with dating sites? I can't go on a dating site. If I go on a dating site, post my picture, I'm going to have, like, Oh, no, right. like it doesn't work that way for Chris me. Chris Morgan hitting so, you up. <laughs> <laughs> you can let me know how you do that. So and you can't do like I was just thinking. Oh, put on a wig, but that's like you already sort of do that. <laughs> There's no wig that's gonna. Cover and I've up. done all kinds of hair, so I mean they know it's me. <laughs> like, this would be like a guy didn't think it was you, but was just like. Maybe. You know, you kind of look right, a lot right. like this <laughs> one porn star. I think there was a movie, actually, with that exact premise. That she looked like one? Where the guy was dating this girl, or there's this girl next door, and she It's called up... The Girl Next Door. Yeah! Right? yeah. There it's it is. The girl next door. I thought it was Pretty Woman for a second. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, that's um, cool. Chris, you mentioned that you were fed up with dating sites. <laughs> a lot of people. Like, it's crap. Everyone's Why is it crap? crap. It should, uh, the, half of them are probably not real. You know, um, like black, pe like fan, black people way. meet. Yeah. You think that's real? I never got on that. Oh. They're all like, they're all. <laughs> yeah. I I've never seen such disgust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. like, black people meet. Gross. What am I, an animal? <laughs> they all know each other. They know each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've heard from a lot of friends. It's like, how do you keep wasting your time on these sites? I'm like, well, until the right one comes along, you pretty much, that's the only thing that you have access to where you can reach multiple people at once. Right, right. You I know. met my girlfriend online. I mean, I so we've been to, yeah, we've been together five years. You did the same, right? We've, yeah. met, we've been together for five years. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Where did you meet her? Like, Tinder. what app? We met, Tinder. We met, yeah. Really? I found it to be the worst one. I, I had the best luck in OK Cupid. Right. And plenty okay. of fish suck, too. Plenty right. of fuck ups, they should call it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> plenty, use plenty of fish? No, plenty of fuck ups. Okay, is what right. It should be called. <laughs> okay. That shit is terrible. Is plenty of catfish. Yeah. <laughs> And out of 15 women I dated last year, eight of them didn't work. You dated 15 women last year? Yeah, and eight and of them. And you're mad about women not What's dating so you? Angry about? Yeah, yeah, what are you angry about? That's eight, a lot of women. Eight of them, eight of them didn't even work. Okay. You know, and, and they, they, they were just like a mess. They were like a mess. Was one of those like, the girl? Like, was one of those problems the, and mm. was one of those women that didn't work the, like the gold digging bitch from Queens? Right. <laughs> After seeing your video. <laughs> you, no, a, actually, no, no. That was. Wait a minute. Yes, it was. She was one of the first ones last year. So Chris There's a dated. whole story behind that. There is a whole story behind that. <laughs> there is. Oh, and here's no, the video that goes with it. Why don't we go back to my place for a little while? Why? No. This is a girl Chris dated. No. He's trying to get her to she come home. Well, the whole day. now she changes her mind. Oh. That's why it's not my fault. It, did I you, got into an accident. Did you have dinner or drinks with her before this? Or this oh, is give me one okay. Yeah, I took her to dinner. I got to open the door. You took her to dinner. You paid for dinner. Everything. All right. Never said thank you, nothing. You oh, those? that's bullshit. You got to say thank you. Well, she talked a lot of nasty crap to get her to go out. She demands I be at her house at 11. I go all the way from Medford to Flushing, Texas. Wow. She finally 11.30. I sorry, I just got up. 
You know, and then 15 11 minutes later, she told me she's or doing AM or PM? AM. Oh, AM, yeah. And she was like almost an hour late, but she demanded I be on time. So she was late. She was yeah. demanding. She forgot to set her alarm for You're going to run her over, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine this. Almost like an hour drive. Yeah. I, I, like, no, no. But look, you're driving <laughs> away. You're like, driving you away. But you're you laughing. See you later. Okay. Yeah. You're taking a video. Adios, bitch. And if I, had, if, I had, if I had to do it fucking again, I'd do it again. He would do it again. This time, I'd drive it a fucking Montauk and leave it there. Sometimes I think you're not the helpless, like you, the helpless victim you lead on. I gotta, I gotta say this, like, you, you know, when I saw the video, I was like, okay, I get it, I get where he's coming from, but, like, now, I mean, you just keep pissing off people. Good. This was a while yeah. ago. Enjoy it. Yeah. I'm gonna keep doing Multiple it. videos. Good. Though. You don't Good. feel, like, remotely... No. I mean, no. just after a while, no. you're no. mad no. at people not, like not dating yeah. you. Yeah, like, no. me too. Fuck it. No, no, oh, listen, yeah. if they really deserve... If they really deserve it, I'll do stuff like that. And let me tell you, for some, for me to, I've never done that. You never so done except for that time. Like that, she, <laughs> trust me. The only two that videos I've bitch. seen of you are you like <laughs> harassing people. But that's you so getting, you're two for two on my. Good. Yeah. Want to shake my hand in my autograph? I want you. I want you to sign my tits before you leave. It's gonna be a great two I'm weeks. Sign for my you. tits, bro. No, what's that? Sign my tits. Yeah, that worked out well. <laughs> it did not work out. Yeah, yeah that worked out really. No, but seriously, like you really have had to do something bad to to to, to have me do that. Yeah, yeah they really pissed you off. I get it. Eleven employee too, right? I saw that. Yeah, video yeah. I mean, because I go at five o'clock in the morning to get a right. coffee. Two weeks ago, what happened in Farmingdale, and they basically asked the same question. I was like, I walked away from the town. I'm like, again. I'm like, you wait here. Right. And that's when I went and got my phone, and that's when the whole, you saw the whole thing. Yeah, you got mad at the guy for asking. Yeah, you don't go. Good morning. How are you? That's how you talk. Yeah, right. Of course. I want to fucking dump the I coffee on his fucking face. Yeah, you know. One time I was getting a cup of coffee. The, the bodega guy was like, "Oh, Shut do the, the carpets match the drapes?" And I was like, <laughs> "I have hardwood floors, baby." <laughs> See, you're more. You sound more like sophisticated. Like you got to be smart to catch your jokes. And me, I'm just like your pet. You're like, "What'd you say? Fuck you." You know. <laughs> Stab a guy with a pen. There's something for everybody. <laughs> My yeah, man. You could take that pen. <laughs> yeah. But, you know. That's just shit talk. I mean, you're, I mean, you just, I mean, you ever think that you have, like, yeah. anger issues? <laughs> no? This is, like, okay? I do when I'm provoked. Okay. Do you I mean, see a therapist? Uh, do all I you guys see to. therapists? I see one. Twice I a week. To. I just came from her right <laughs> now to this. Don't get me wrong. There were, each therapist that I would saw, they got better, and the one I ended with was a very nice guy. And believe me, to an extent it worked. But even they said that, though, like, the medicine... Mm-hmm can only work so much and when you push so much it's like it doesn't the medicine doesn't work oh so. they prescribed like an anti yeah and ultimately pill? in the end I'm just like fuck I don't want to do this anymore you're like I the did it for six years like fuck this shit you're like the incredible hulk of height <laughs> Yeah, yeah like exactly. You make one remark about your height, and then you just you turn to Dave, from David Banner to the yeah. Hulk. Exactly. Yeah. I yeah, but do you do you think he'll be fucked with for the rest of your life now that know, you did this? <laughs> like just, every just, time you go out and stuff, people are gonna be harassing you even more because now you have a viral video out there. He came with a posse right. of five people. Right. Oh, he was yeah. bigger before. Well, yeah. we had other people with us. I saw oh, your okay, parade video. Get You're alive. You had like a ton of people. You had like kids were with you. He's a big. He's rolling deep. I'm impressed. Napoleon's resurrected, baby. Chris, I got a question yeah. for you. Who's the uh, who's the biggest person that reached out to you, like celebrity wise? <clears throat> Is anyone like celebrity? fucking did fucking Bruce Willis hit There's you? There's one up? guy who was five foot six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The biggest guy. Other than me, of course. No, actually, they besides all, Chrissy. No, not 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 me. They all contacted my my manager. Yeah, man. Me. Cool. Anyone that you know of, like Oops. did fucking oh, Wendy Williams hit oh, you up? I don't even know who he is. I feel bad. I don't you don't know? know. I'm in the. Sh I'm Can I the say that? Listen, I'm in the. Sh yeah, Sean Hannity is. is oh his friend shit! Style. Okay, cool, Sean man. Hannity, Mark. Really? Crazy. Rock and roll. It's a big name. <laughs> Wait for Sean that Hannity. cash, yeah, baby. That's a big Cough one. up that money first. I would say right? that wins. Exactly. Exactly. How tall is Sean Hannity? Is what I want to know. Hmm. I don't know. Seems tall. That'd be great if he was like five three. <laughs> I'd be very happy about that. <laughs> this is interesting. All right, I'm gonna move on to another question. Congrats on the new show. Thanks, whoever. Um, what should a guy do to get a blowjob from his girl when she says, number one, she hates blowjobs. Number two, even the tip of the dick makes her gag. Number th <laughs> even the tip. Number three, she can't stand the taste of pre-cum. What would I do? Uh, simple. Simple. I have the answer. What's the answer? Clean it off and pour some fucking red wine on it. 
I pour red wine on your sip. penis? I poured, no, I poured red wine on it. My ex girl's nipples. It was delicious. <laughs> what kind? Like a Merlot or like a Chianti? <laughs> Yellowtail, baby. Who do you think you're dealing with? The, the more you talk, the less bad I feel for you. I know it's. I'll get rippled if I have to. If you have those big glasses, like like when you get like in a in a bridal registry, you could just dip them in, like dip it into the wine. Yeah. You know it's boxed wine. You know he doesn't have Merlot or. Wow. Syrup, syrup, whatever. If somebody, I've never. Hated a blowjob. I mean, cream. you can always put like a flavored lube on Honey, there. You could just rocks. record a video. <laughs> I saw these things in like the sex toy store, like just this last week. It was it was literally like pop rocks for your dick. Have you seen this? <laughs> yeah, and they make this gel thing too. Like it's kind of like a lollipop flavor that you could put on, like and lick it off. Who's go- would you guys want like a popping <laughs> sensation no, in and around your dick and balls? Not. <laughs> if that's what you need to give a blowjob, you don't have to give a yeah. blowjob. <laughs> I don't need it that bad. I don't need it. Dynamite! Right now! I hate it that much. Set it on fire! (laughs) (laughs) Woo! If you want somebody to give you a blowjob, I guess just record a video of you yelling at a bagel store. Uh, (laughs) What is the. You got women calling you now. Record something with another chick and then send it to her and be like, hey, you know. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's the answer. Uh, you think you're better? Okay, show me. Show me. Even the tip, (laughs) even the tip makes her gag. Really? She's, she made you sound like a concerned out. mother, right? I'm, I am concerned. <laughs> how, how bad is this tip? Did you not wash your tip? Do you have under cheese? What's going on? I don't know. I have a lot of I have a lot of follow up questions. Uncircumcised. Yeah, nobody's got time for all that. You gotta find it. You gotta. I don't know. Well, apparently you do. <laughs> I was a, with a couple Europeans, yeah, that still had a foreskin, and like I don't know how you feel. How do you? Really? It's always the Europeans. <laughs> right, they don't lie. Though I was like, oh, I do not know. I drink oh, a Red man. Bull. Yeah. Should be. My nephew's not circumcised. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel bad for. I him. guess I shouldn't have a feeling about that. He's two. There you go. Oh, I have a question for you. Just out of curiosity. Why are women so big on like the astrology sign? Oh, because it's everything. Because it's, it's like so you're a cancer, so. right? Yes. It all lines up for you. You're emotional. I don't know. You like women with big tits, which means you like a woman who's nurturing. And do you like to be home more? Like to like to cuddle up with some wine and some tits? I feel like that's a very cancer. Pour some wine on your cock, trait. right? Isn't that the method? Cancers you- love wine on tits. It's all you Cappuccino. Know. Yeah. Cappuccino. I mean, I like astrology because I think it points to more often than not, like, I don't know, it kind of gives you a roadmap for dealing with somebody's patterns and it helps you understand someone better. Stay focused on, yeah, what you do. How do you feel about astrology? First of all, what was this whole thing? And it wasn't like recently or anything, but where they changed it all. Oh so yeah, like, they that were gonna, fucking shit pissed they me added off. a 13th sign, and then they were like, "We can't do this. We printed too many books. We gotta." <laughs> so <laughs> everybody sign switch. So I I lost it then because I don't know what sign to like. Do I look up my old sign? Or do I look up the new sign? And I guess what I. What sign are you? Like a Libra. A Libra. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. Libra women are nice. I'm are a nice Camry. Gals. <laughs> a Camry. Oh, a Toyota. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's Asian. <laughs> <laughs> I have an answer for you. The reason I think women are into astrology is because the lunar cycle and the menstrual cycle are both 29 days by coincidence. So there is like a, uh, a synchronization mm. between your organs and the sky. Me it too. Seems mystical. I'm perfectly well, linked up with the moon. <laughs> no sign. That is deep. Yeah. I think so. I mean, you look at like ancient civilizations. They they probably saw those two things aligned. They had to view it as like, oh, God exists. Yeah, the space yeah. bodies. Yeah. Yeah. Every time there's a high tide, mm. I become a bitch. <laughs> 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 How do you Once feel about pre cum, Dylan? <laughs> pre cum? I'm like, eh, I ain't feeling it too much. No? Oh, no. You'd rather just save it all for the end? Just save it all. I want the real big blast. The full like, load. Like, like, the full yeah. load. Oh, and by the way, the, don't this, waste any the of stigma it. of like all this, like, you know, the, the smaller thing. The last few women I with said, wow. I says, they opened the door. I said, what's the matter? She goes, you are a gallon shooter. I'm like, okay. Oh, you have a lot of cum? It was so much, she had to open the door and spit the rest out. What a, I do not like spitting to me. <laughs> Last three girls in a row told me that. Wow. Like, oh, you say so. She goes, but this you is got, dating tape? <laughs> He's full of cum goes, and bagels. Mean, Listen, broad, I'll pour red wine on your, your bush so and then come a gallon in your fucking face. Have you ever had a load so big you couldn't swallow it? And I haven't, but I'm have not, you? you know. 
just drizzles out, you know? Oh, well, stop. yeah, maybe it's like, 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 oh, stop, stop. <laughs> Spit it into a plant or something. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this orchid looks a little dry. Yeah, they're, um, they, but they were doing all this, and they open. What the fuck? What are you, sick? Wow. I can't hold it all. To I'm me, not... spitting is just bad manners. Like, I would... Oh, I think it's sexy as fuck. I feel like an independent contractor. I'm here to you do a job. Spitting is sexy. Spitting a felony now? It, <laughs> anyway, she's going to swallow, drip it Spitting is a hate hot. crime. <laughs> <laughs> right, Casey? I, I don't know. Yeah, this is like a lot of... This guy gets a lot of action. What are you mad at? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even... Because I want more. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's what it seems like. Damn I'm, right, man. I'm, I'm surprised only tiger, 2%... Uh, I got a very strong libido. Yeah, Ooh. no. Insanely strong libido. Right, no, I can tell by Since I'm 18, it's never left me. Right, all right. How many bagels do you eat a week? Chrissy, we got to get sponsored by Blue Chew after this shit. <laughs> yeah, or this I'm guy right here is on something know. right here. Is, I mean, I'm yeah. surprised two percent of only people were upset with you. Like you called yourself Martin Luther King. <laughs> you <laughs> realize how nuts that is? Modern I day. Don't shit. Look at me. You know I'm nuts. So why are you surprised, my yeah, friend? I don't think I, you're nuts. You. You're closer I think, to. I think, I think you're, you're misunderstood. Thank yeah, you very much. Right. Thank you. Yes. Well, yeah. That's the correct word. Conman. Same. It's the same thing. Right. You can be both. Right. Martin Luther King. No, I just got a whip. I I've been eating pineapple. That'll solve the whole problem. Pineapple makes your cum taste really good. Exactly. Kiwis, yeah. strawberries. Mm -hmm. What else? Paying your taxes. Right. <laughs> Everything bagels. This show sponsored by <laughs> Boss Bagel. <laughs> <laughs> Paying your cell phone bill. Right? Yeah. You know, right. Yeah, I heard celery. What's also. your What's your favorite bagel? <laughs> Best question of the oh, fucking night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my favorite is in everything, but I can't. Me eat. too. Oh, I love it. Ah. <laughs> whole best. wheat or regular or egg? Well, I gotta eat whole wheat because I'm diabetic. But before I had diabetes, oh. I would always eat everything with lox cream cheese mixed. Lox and cream cheese. Not with the. Fi I can eat both, but the mixed cream That's cheese. So Jewy in Long Island. It. Yeah. Are you Jewish? No. Okay. You ever yeah. hear of seafood bagels? Seafood. No, Seaford. Like Seaford no. Long Island. They've been around forever. They let me tell you, on a Saturday morning, you're not getting bagels for like almost an hour. That nope. place has been making a killing what a for tough years. Life. You gotta, make a, you gotta make a reservation <laughs> for a bagel. They, they're well what a, known. They're like what incredible. a horrible existence. They, wow. they are like one no of bagels for a whole hour. <laughs> <laughs> what are we no, doing? No, no, no. Meaning you're gonna be waiting a long. No, I know. You're gonna be waiting. You're gonna be waiting in line. I understand. They're With that, people right. looking at you. They're yeah. that good. What a time. <laughs> you won't have to wait in any bagel lines anymore. Yeah. You should be able to get like. You're not gonna get VIP bagel treatment. If I owned a bagel store, I would be like right this way, sir. I recently found out through my manager that Chow. Baby, the restaurant mass speaker was offering me like free meals and shit. I'm like, wow. For life? I don't know if it was for life, but at least one time. Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's got diabetes. How long is the life? <laughs> I don't know until your limbs start falling off. Exactly. I don't know. Right. I mean, green and shit. My but, uh, no, they did. They did. I was like, oh, okay. What's I the, never go and went there, but. What's the bagel place? The 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 Seaford. video? Oh, Seaford's Seaford. where it was filmed. No, oh, no, no, Bay I don't the place I was talking. Oh, where it was filmed? Bayshore. Yeah. Bagel Bay Boss, Bayshore. How much business have they got as a result of this video? Well, they're I have no idea. They should, they're probably oh, okay. not going to tell you because they're like, oh, no, it's just our yeah. delicious bagels, they're not chain, you. It's a chain store of bagels. It is. Yeah. yeah there's one and one. You know, right before you go to the Wontour Park, mm -hmm. there's yeah. a Bagel Boss right there. Yep. I think right. it's still there. Okay. Right? I don't know. I don't no, know. I'm <laughs> okay, you're from Queens. in the 90s when I used to go jet ski, my friend was there. You've lived a very nice life for a man who's this angry. I've never jet skied. I don't really? Never either. I you should know. go. In what world are we living in over here? How is this okay? Am I? I love How many times has a girl spit out your cum because you came too much? Never. Is it less than three? Never. <laughs> then he's better than you. Right. This guy None of you guys girlfriends last you guys? year. Dead ass, be dead ass with me. No, dead no one's ever had that problem. Too much jizz? Yeah. Never. Yeah. My girl complains dead if I don't have enough. I always don't have enough. <laughs> She's like, who are you jerking jizz? off to? I'm like, okay, you're always kidding. a problem. I wanted to ask you that question. You're actually. not gonna find your <laughs> girlfriend is there like you called that coming? Yeah, she gets pissed. Oh She's like, you fucking jerked off. That's you all jerked you off. Yeah, 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 man. That's kind of hot. So yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> Mike, you should be thrilled. Save it for me. Tell you a funny, a quick funny story. We were at the marina last week, right? We're sitting hanging out. Which one? In Bayshore? Yeah. And, I, 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 and this, this guy comes walking with the dog, and the dog's going, <laughs> and I went, look, that's me when I'm horny. <laughs> the whole place went fucking ripping. It was hysterical. I thought you were going to say, oh, Pessy, everybody. Joe <laughs> Pessy. He's 
living his best life right now. I thought I'm you were going to say you, you came in the dog's the, face. He's like, so I fucking blasted dogs in his mouth funny. down. And I'm like, that's me. Dogs are so funny. So are you going to do like, are you going to do like shows now? I would love to. Yeah. Like I, man, the bagel I used to podcast. Don Rickles, Johnny Carson, Don Ronnie Dangerfield. I'm like, I would love to have my own talk show and do this shit. Oh, mm-hmm. so like, you would Don do Rickles appearances? Like, like, would you maybe like, you know, judge a comedy contest or something like that? Would you well, be a guest appearance on things? Yeah. Like mix it up. Like be unique with different concepts. I mean, obviously I'd have the writers do it. I mean, he's got 13 minutes left. That's it? I mean, you're going to have to ride this out, right? Casey, don't be salty. I'm not. It's on an everything bagel. One could think I could get away with it. Don't be a salt bagel. Be an everything bagel. (laughs) So... So you both like everything bagels. Yeah. Wow, yeah. does anybody else like everything bagels? I love everything. Yeah? <laughs> They're the tasty. I like raisin. I actually like I the like raisin bagels. I, think, like the I don't like, like that the seeds much. off. Sweet. Salt. Salt's, Salt's underrated. I got diabetes. Yeah. I love sweets. Right. Sesame? I can do it. Sesame's great. Sesame. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Poppy seed. Poppy seed. <laughs> yeah. I don't like the rainbow ones. It's like a turnoff. Like, like the, you don't like you don't like a gay what bagel. What the fuck is green ketchup? How many bagels you eat? What is that? Yeah, how, yeah, how many, many bagels do you eat a week? Chris, you gotta be slapped. Important question. There's something up missing up here. <laughs> Chris, how many bagels do you eat a week on average? Oh, like hardly ever anymore. I like hardly ever. So no, now you're, you're done. Ever since last week, you're done with bagels. Whenever I'm in the mood for it, but it, it oh, hasn't okay. been like it was when I was younger, though. Right. You know, but how many put away when you were younger? You mean at one bagel wise? Yeah. Just one. Just one. Yeah. yeah. All right. I was about to say, they're pretty feeling. Like, yeah, they are. Can you imagine if there's like a study that links like bagel consumption to like a- amount of cum? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe there is and they haven't you discovered think, it yet. You think this cum is just all yeast? Just think about it. What do balls smell like? Paper right. mache and new bagels. Right. That's. I think there's a. I'm not a scientist, but. There's gotta be no. something. I feel like there's a link. Provolone. So you were yeah. in a bagel store, like, disobeying your doctor's your orders? Walk. Is that what? Uh, I'm sorry, say again? When you were in the bagel store, you were, like, disobeying a doctor's order? Like, because you shouldn't be eating that because you're diabetic. Oh, I just don't give a shit no more. I don't even take my fucking bagels, <laughs> man. Wow. I just eat, try to eat better, you know? And, right. I, and occasionally I'll go back to it. But you learn how your body is. Like, there are signs. Like, my tongue will get dry, my ankles start blowing up. And uh, you, you know urination, fre- frequent urination. Um, right. But the three, th- the two of the worst things for me when I eat it, is a pasta and dumplings, and baked potato are the worst. My, totally. oh, I start seeing my ankle like getting fucked up quick. Right. Everything else is fine. Are but you wearing lifts? Huh? Yes, I am. Okay. All right. You can well, tell. Hey, yeah. so am I. All right. Yeah. Short lives matter. That's, That's right. right. Oh, those are That's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> Short lives but, matter. Uh, but yeah, but those three are like fucking me up bad. Like quit. Totally. Carbs will get you. Oh yeah. I love how this show has been evenly split between, like, bagels and <laughs> horrific sex stuff. Like... You know what, Matthew? What important issues do you want to discuss? Having oh, great hair? I, one thing I do, I do want to pivot back to, uh, I don't, I don't want to, like, attack women at all, but I Go do ahead. think a big it's problem. It's compound media. I think a group of people I get very frustrated with. Are short women who insist on dating dating really tall guys? Thank you. That annoys me. Well, what is me. really Thank tall? What is really it's tall? Because uh, on on when I was single on Tinder and Bumble, the girls Wait. who were most likely to specify a minimum height. Thank you. Weren't that tall. Maybe it's because we're tiny. We need protection from oh, wild on. animals. And then uh, there's gonna always be a bigger guy six, that comes along. Yeah. You can't anyway. see the top either. No. Right? Yeah, I would never go <laughs> over six foot. Is greedy to me. I think so. And yeah. and it was it was what was interesting is seeing girls who were five ten and above became uh, this is anecdotal, but became uh, less. Uh, specific about height. If they were five ten, they're just like, hey, I'm I'm five eleven. They hey, I'm six they're already foot. up there because they're they don't. I guess like... they don't have as many options, and they're not hit on as often. Exactly. So they don't have the proper uh, well, you're, self-esteem. You're right because I've read articles, mm. tons of it, and researched by right. psychologists. They wrote all that shit, and what you said is true. I think he's saying something, but now I don't, it. Now I don't <laughs> know if he necessarily like. You know what I mean? Like he's saying one thing, and I don't think that he necessarily agrees with how you live your life. You as know, far as what? Like, like just yelling at people randomly. That to me bothers me. He's not yelling man. now. He's yeah. not just yelling yeah, 24 7. The message versus the messenger. Yeah. Right. Well, no. You know? yeah. He was just yeah. mad. Yeah. Like, yeah. I. Yeah. So it's like, you know, do you, I mean, I don't know. I feel it's just weird to just go into. You've been recording all these videos of you going into different locations. And yelling at people. No, like once something happens, then I'll 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 whip out the camera. Yeah, so in case like if I get attacked or whatever the case may be, they pull the knife. I have I have proof of it. 
Did any of those videos people pull a knife on? No, <laughs> no, but you never know, though. You never know in today's world today. Right. I, I had a know. taquito at 7-Eleven. Sometimes <laughs> those everything bagels can be sharp. <laughs> right. You, know? you ever cut your mouth on a... <laughs> <laughs> on a grain of... On a freshly <laughs> toasted yeah, bagel? Yeah. Who filmed the Bagel Boss video? It's crunchy. I'm oh, sorry? Who filmed the Bagel Boss video, the, the, the viral video? Some girl behind me. Oh, a stranger. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you talk to her? Did you bring no. a camera crew? No, so she just posted. You never said anything. Like after that, oh, uh, so she, she gets made all the you cards. right. She I was like, credit? Credit? does she want credit for? <laughs> does she want like a cinematography credit on that? Like, have you heard from her at all? I haven't. I don't know if no. my manager has. I doubt it because I'm sure he would have mentioned it to me. But as far as I know, no. Man. So it's on, it's on her it was, YouTube. Chewbacca page. mask woman was the one who. Oh, uh, <laughs> she's delightful. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> Just a light. Hey, Chris. Hey. What what would oh. you I'm sorry. What would you call that move that that guy did on you at the end of the video? He like <laughs> pounced Aww. on you. We don't want you know to go I mean? back there. I'll put Yeah, no, I th it wasn't her. He looked afraid almost. Oh. The guy, the guy oh, who attacked you, it was like when he you like played to me? He, he looked like he was afraid of the encounter. But he ran at you and just kind of jumped on you. Like it, it looked yeah, like he kind of hesitated. I guess he didn't know what to expect yeah, and well, then it looked like it even hurt you. He just happened to get you on the no, ground. No, he stunned me, but he didn't hurt me at all. I didn't get bruised or nothing. And what happened after that? He got off of you. He slowly, like, lifted his knee a little, and I had to wiggle to get out. I was just, yo, get the fuck off me. Nice. Like that. Did you try to, like, grab his balls? That's what I do. He's lucky I didn't have my fish and filet knife. I would have fucking gutted him like a fish. The power of your voice. my oxygen, I'll kill you. Nice. You know? Good. Because I know it was hot out. I'm putting this on my reel. Right, yeah. 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 Because he looked like he didn't know what he was doing. He just kind of ran into you. He didn't give a shit. No, yeah. after I fell down, he he was holding me down. He knew what he was doing. I oh, gotcha. Yeah. And did a cop break it out? Like, I, I didn't see the end no, of that video. No, no one even offered the help. That's what would even... And I was there about a Son minute. Son of a bitch. That's what I'm saying. If I had that knife, uh, I would have uh, fucking gutted that bastard. Jeez. Well, that's great. Yeah. Well, now you can Matthew. get a gun, because you're famous. Casey said, or Matthew, yeah, have you guys yeah. ever, like... That fought somebody? Have you ever like been yeah. attacked? Been attacked? By somebody. Well, I mean, I don't yell at random people about things. Oh, he's nice you know what I mean? Like, I just don't do Maybe that. Maybe you should start. Maybe it would help your career. Yeah, so that's what I need to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. No, it's we were both on Laughs on Fox. I, mean, yeah. we're, you know, I, mean, I was yeah. going to say, Chrissy, we have the same credits. <laughs> Let's, who are we fooling here? You know? This just is, wondering. I mean, I think right. it'd be hard to be a guy because, like, uh, like I don't know. As a woman, you don't really think about like what would I, what would I do if somebody's trying uh, to fight me. What are you me? talking about? Bitches be jumping on bitches all the time mm -hmm. like crazy. Yeah, bitches like, haven't jumped on me. <laughs> without <laughs> without offending any woman, I just think women think. <laughs> Why start now? <laughs> well, you think we think too much? Yeah, way too much. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest. As I said, I don't anybody be offended. Mm -hmm. If you want a successful relationship, feed us, fuck us. And no offense, shut the fuck up. And vice versa. So, <laughs> so a, uh, a Chris Rock bit is how we're gonna. <laughs> we're gonna go. Oh well, you know why well, you did okay. you did this so you gotta buy me this and it shouldn't be a Harvey, right? keep a track yeah. of. So you don't like a lot of conversation. You don't like a lot of talk. Like no, how was your day bit, or anything like that? When it's ready to get it on, all I just want to hear out of your mouth is, oh, oh, that's it. Nothing else. <laughs> but what if she loves else. bagels like you? Right. What if she wants to have bagel mouth? talk? Right. Yeah. Well, actually, the gagging sound is even better. Okay. Right. Gag on a bagel. <laughs> well, now we know why you hang out with a group of pirates. Because you're, because you're a fucking, you're a fucking psychopath. Before, there we go. Right. Before this, I, I still was, like you. <laughs> still like you, pal. Before this, I was, I was wondering why you couldn't find anyone, and now I'm wondering how you've ever found anyone. <laughs> I am blown away. Well, he's you fine, and it, <laughs> he's Martin Luther King. Don't yeah, you know? he's the modern day Martin Luther King. I'm into it. I support it. I Who think we have you? time for maybe a one or more question. Okay, I'm a week-long listener, but first-time caller. I heard your pilot and immediately subscribed. Oh, my God, thank you, whoever. Uh, I travel a lot. My hobby is traveling. This means no long-term relationships, but I still get the urge to have sexual relationships. Having sex in cities across the world is obviously challenging as a single man with no acquaintances, especially in the radioactive Me Too universe that humanity, humanity is now entering. What is your advice on how to approach people so he travels a lot he's wondering how to approach people it sounds like he just wants one night stands I'll, I'll, I'll answer that for you okay if oh I'm good mad. oh thank right. god okay. that's what we were waiting for <laughs> yeah, I bet you will buddy yeah. check this out life's too short you can go it at is. any time <laughs> so so you basically should not wait you want something, grab life by the fucking horn. So Life's I would just short. go up Chris Morgan. and just right. hit on him. Say, hey, babe, how you doing? You want to go out for... And then depending on your mood, you say, hey, babe, you want to have sex? You want to fuck? No, next. 
Goodbye. Next. No, anyway, I don't like it right away like that. Hey, oh, well, it depends on the mood. You know? I like how we, in this hour, up, we uncovered how little sympathy we have for Chris Morgan. Thank you very much. Right, that's, I talked But some. just be honest. Boom, yeah. boom. Like, don't, like, like, if you like, like, if I found, tell me if you guys have experienced this a lot as well, but. You've been in one bagel video and you think you tell everyone how to live their life. <laughs> no, no, I want to ask you if this has okay. happened to you guys. Check this out. Have you gotten phone numbers so and they far. tell you to call them and then all of a sudden they just stop or they, like, they ghost you, they disappear? Yeah, I mean, sure, I don't, yeah, of course. What is that about? Like, I've been ghosted. Oh, yes, I've been I have too. <laughs> like, it's weird, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> like no reason, they just fall off the face. Everybody of the gets ghosted, even no, ghosts. No, no. I mean, it's annoying because it makes no sense. <laughs> but yeah, and when you try to ask them for an explanation, they just disappear. They don't yeah, I mean, it. it's just I it's would, annoying. I don't value so much on that, you know. You're right, but it is annoying though. Right. I when you try to be nice and ask, well, where are you? What? And they don't answer you. That's fine. I mean, I, and then you punish them by making them swallow gargantuan <laughs> amount. <of laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know where to go. Chris oh, Morgan, the cum boss. I'll cut back. Okay? Right. <laughs> Please do, for the sake of humanity. Could you stop midstream and like just? not come all the way. I've never had a penis. Like, hold it? Yeah, hold like, it. like, <laughs> I'm gonna All right. <laughs> Maddie, a lot of kegels. Maddie, what's your, <laughs> they're dick kegels? Um, Maddie, what's your advice on approaching somebody? You're traveling a lot. You don't uh, want to get me too but you want to get it in. Don't, don't lie. Don't, uh, don't be deceptive. I think, uh, a, a weird thing I noticed is, uh, when I was traveling more and I met girls on Bumble, if I told them I was from out of town and just in town for a few nights and upfront about that very early on, they were more, uh, more likely to want to hang out. Yeah. Because I didn't lie. Yeah, because women are, want to have one night stands too. So yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, like, I mean, that's tonight, the perfect. If anybody's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Around after. Mm -hmm. The show. Also, I, I don't. I'm not qualified to give advice. I don't, I don't. Yes, you are. That's why we booked you. You're all here because you are good at something. Are we? Are we? Yeah. Well, we all know why Dylan's here. Um, He's good at coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The fact. Yeah. Be honest about. Be honest and upfront. Yeah, so like women yeah. don't get attached. And we'll, and we'll respect women a lot more when they do that. The, the mind games is really exhausting. I think so everyone can be garbage, though. It's not yeah, yeah. women more so than guys. I'm, I'm you're right. They, they shit on both ends. But I, from my personal experience and from talking to a lot of people, they've experienced the same thing. No it's offense. hard. It's just, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh it's yeah. hard dating. I, I've, I've known a lot of people that just gave up on dating sites. They just don't do it no more. Yeah. yeah but everyone's on their phone. You're not going to meet people at the grocery store because they're at the grocery store on their phone. Right. Like, you, I think that's the like, way Like, hey, I'm in now. line yeah. behind you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are those eggs yours or mine? <laughs> That'd be a funny scene of two people matching and, and talking yeah. to each other and they're sitting on opposite sides of the bench and they don't even realize. So. Well, I always like think commercial. it's crazy when people go out to dinner and you're at a restaurant and people are like literally having a conversation when they're sitting across the sh like. Oh, like they're on their phone and yeah. Right, they're talking yeah. to each other through their phone, now. even though they're at dinner with each other. Like it's everywhere now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's why people I don't want phones. that date. <laughs> Aww, phones. How do you? How did you feel when he said radioactive me too environment? Uh, it like you he he bit. sounds like a a frustrated dude, and I understand. I've heard from so many like guy friends, acquaintances, whatever fans that are like, oh, like because it's. I think it is. A, because there's so much in the media, it maybe it is. A, it seems like a scary time right now to be a guy. Because you're like, I don't know what to do. Like I can't. I understand the frustration, but because um, it seems like oh, anything is. I a thought you were too. gonna say uh, uh, he seems like a frustrated douche. <laughs> he seems like a frustrated. Douche. He, I mean, like who who's that worried about it? You because know? I think guys yeah. are afraid of their careers be. being ruined. Yeah, it's or only being guys like who should be up. though. Like, I never, a friend of mine said that to me, she's like, if you feel like you're never, what are the chances of you raping somebody? Like, really raping somebody? I'm like, none. Well, it's not like, just so rape. The There's a lot of you gray areas really in there. You have to for this to actually blow up in your face. I feel right. like you actually have to be, like, pretty big for this to happen. Like, the people I who this happens to. I think anybody in a position of power, like at work, like anybody, there are a lot of men who are in positions to, like, as, you know, Don't I get it. want that one night stand, but yeah. do you want to risk, like, you know, that 10-second conversation or 10-minute conversation of saying, slipping up about something, you know, personal in your life, and then that chick... You know, goes and blasts you all over. Like I don't know. Like yeah, definitely. Like I understand see that. this fear. And it sounds yeah. like a guy, definitely, who has you know a high statue in high society. Yeah. So <laughs> I get it, cause I've been creepy with dudes that, like years ago in the past. You know, like like if I were a guy, <laughs> I just want to put that years in ago in charge of people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you have to think about where you're at and how to conduct yourself. But it sounds like he's just talking about. 
you know, regular dating. Like, obviously, like, nobody no, you work with. No, it's not regular. This is a guy who's like, hey, I want to fuck a girl in every major city. How do I not be a creep about it? <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, all right. So, yeah, this guy. is a multi-part question here. <laughs> Yeah, I would say, like, try to listen. Try to, like, be perceptive. If someone's, like, body language, if, like, you're, if, like, if a woman's body is, like, getting tight and they're, like, moving away from you or their answers are short or they're looking away from you and there's no Brushing unnecessary arms, touching, yeah, like, yeah. you have to pick up on body cues because women, I think a lot of women are, like, people pleasers and we want to be nice and we don't want you to feel rejected. <laughs> like, right. I've done... I think half the people I've slept with, I've slept with because I felt bad for. You know what I mean? Like, only a small <laughs> percentage of I actually liked. You know? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. I think, I think men also, this is a broad brush, but I think we're also way less perceptive to the nonverbal cues. I think right. we're just like. Idiots. Worst comes part. to worst, just leave them in a parking lot like Chris does. It's <laughs> true. Just drive away. Driving away. What happened at the end of that a, video? I started a train. It's a nonverbal cue, driving away. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the, the way that got on the internet, I went back to that bar and I showed him and he goes, you should put that on YouTube. And I go, what should I call it? Bitch from Queens are like, that's great. So the guy told me Joe to put it on <laughs> I wasn't even going to put it on YouTube. Yeah. So you that's just like, filmed yeah. it for your, just to watch later? Yeah, like just on my own phone. And then he said, put it on. I said, that's fucking genius. I mean, it is really funny. And within yeah, six months, is... I had like 600 hits. Wow. It was insane. Wow. Yeah. You think you'd be this fun of a guy if you were normal height? Hey, uh, uh, no, 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 no. I'm not offended because I actually Sorry. told that to my parents. But then, like when 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 good things happen, my my I'm not depressed, and my good personality takes over. Now, well, actually, I know because I'm getting better results. And then, obviously, now that you know, with this all happening, and it's it's just gonna get easier now. So you know, easy street. Yeah, oh, absolutely. You made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But do you also realize, like, you're not a, a midget. You're just a of short course, guy. No. You know what I mean? And people have called you a midget, yeah. and that makes me No, no I'm just upset. saying, like, I hope you I hope you have, not like, some self-esteem where you're yeah, like, I'm I mean, not that fucking short. Yeah, we, you'll have we, their... we all go ups and downs, and you, you crawl out of it. Yeah, but, I mean, some people just... You're full yeah. Are there any you're dudes really who are, fine. like, four foot four reaching out, like, fuck you, you giant. You don't know <laughs> yeah. how good you have. <laughs> yeah. I look up to you, man. <laughs> Acknowledge your privilege. Yeah. <laughs> you guys. A good tan, bro. This is too disgusting good. for me. I wish the show here. could go on and on, but I unfortunately have to wrap it up. I want to give it up for our wonderful audience, for Mike Fizz, Mike Figs, um, Chris Morgan, Woo! the Bagel Boss. You can see him at the Bagel Boss in Bayshore, Long Island tomorrow morning. Follow him on Twitter. Chris, oh, no, you won't. Chris Morgan, the one on Instagram. Chris Bagel Boss Morgan. Casey Aurora for dates. Uh, go to canalaurora.com. K U N A L A R O R A.com. Follow him at All Day KCA. And keep it going for Matthew Brassard. You can see him at the Denver Comedy Works July 18th through 20th at the Lucille Ball Comedy Festival in Jamestown, New York, August 7th through 11th. For more dates, go to mondaypunday.com and follow him at Monday Punday. And Dylan Harper, uh, check her out, her new song, Porn Star, with Ryan Banks. It's available on iTunes, Tidal, Spotify, follow her on Instagram, Dylan Harper exclusive underscore, underscore com, and on Twitter, Dylan Harper, D I L L I O N H A R P E R, and our website, DylanNation.com. Thank you guys so much for coming on Thank the wet you. spot. Thank you. We will yeah. see you next Monday. Yeah.